America is expecting a 2020-2021 baby bust. According to the Brookings Institution, the pandemic may result in 300,000 to 500,000 fewer babies. In fact, a recent survey shows 34% of American women are putting off plans to have a child or reducing the number of children they expect to have as a result of the pandemic. And almost half of adults surveyed report a decline in their sex life. Even Google data shows pregnancy-related search terms like ultrasound and morning sickness, well, they're down too. The push to vaccinate all Americans in the U.S. is ramping up, and soon all adults are expected to be eligible for the vaccine, and that includes expectant mothers. And although there will be fewer new moms, new research suggests pregnant women might, might uh, be able to protect not only themselves from the virus, but also their baby. Jennifer Pinedo is a new mom and a COVID survivor. She contracted the virus when she was 36 weeks pregnant. It was a stressful time mentally and physically. I had like this really bad headache. I had fever. I was sweating a lot. But Jennifer has mostly recovered. But her ability to fight off the coronavirus may offer some protection to her daughter, little Selena. So your OBGYN says that Selena might have some protection for from COVID. She's had three months for sure, yeah three months for sure. There's this window between the time that a baby's born and it starts to receive its vaccination where it's quite vulnerable. New research shows the potential for maternal COVID antibodies like the one Jennifer has can be passed along from mother to baby in the womb and that maternal protection can be life-saving. What provides us the long-term protection for hopefully years, decades, or perhaps even the rest of our life are the antibodies known as IgG. Dr. Kurt Wharton heads women and children's clinical programs at Beaumont. He says it's too soon to say how long any COVID immunity will last, but any protection for babies with their weak natural defenses and developing respiratory systems is essential. At this point, scientists don't believe COVID can infect babies in the womb, but mom's long-term immune response, those IgG antibodies, can. And that's one reason why Fowlerville mom Erin Arns got the vaccine. Erin is six months pregnant, and both she and her husband Ben are essential workers. Now, did you have any concerns about um, getting the vaccine while you were pregnant? No, actually, what's funny is I scheduled my first shot before I even talked to my obstetrician. Erin works in clinical pathology at MSU and has been following the science and got the vaccine to protect her family and the little girl on the way. Our life will continue um, with going to work and sending our toddler to daycare. And so the better prepared our household can be. According to the American College of OBGYNs, data suggests symptomatic pregnant patients with COVID-19 are at increased risk of more severe illness compared to their non-pregnant peers. They go on to say, although the risk of severe COVID is low, pregnant women are at increased risk for ICU admission, the need for ventilation, and death. Pregnancy causes tremendous changes in a woman's lungs and her ability to take a deep breath. She doesn't have the reserve when she becomes sick. And that's why Dr. Wharton says the COVID-19 vaccine is important for all pregnant women. But is the immune response from the vaccine the same as what you get from fighting off the virus? This is all very preliminary, but we believe that vaccination offers a longer period of immunity. For both mom and baby. Now, we still don't know how long that COVID-19 immunity uh, will last, but uh, during that critical window after birth, but before the baby's immune system kicks in, that immunity from mom plays a vital role and can offer some coverage during that window. Now, Dr. Wharton says there is some misinformation out there that the vaccine can cause infertility. He says that is simply not true. He says all pregnant women, breastfeeding women, and women thinking about having a baby should be vaccinated for both the safety of mom and baby. Now, coming up tonight, at six, I'm going to highlight another way you may be able to protect your baby from COVID and that tender time after birth if you weren't able to get the vaccine.